Well, we have a new record price for condominiums here on Oahu. We're gonna jump into that shortly, but this is David Buck with Harcourt's Island Real Estate, and I'm here to give you the monthly stat report for June of 2022. Well, first we'll dive into the single family product, and there we didn't hit a record, but it was a healthy gain from a year ago. We're up 12.4% as far as the median price goes. Um, in June of 2021, that median price was $979,000, and we're now at $1,100,000. So that's a pretty good year over year jump in appreciation at uh, for, excuse me, 12.4%. However, with that said, um, transaction volume down is sig significant in a sense. It's down 20.8%. That's as far as the numbers of sales go. So um, we had um, 357 sales this past June, whereas the previous year we had 451. So that's a just over 20% drop in the numbers of transactions, but prices are still um, up there. And uh, But days on market are ratcheting up just slightly, uh, up 25%, going from eight days to 10 days. Uh, but the big thing to kind of keep an eye on is the inventory. Uh, we've been talking about for many, many years that there's no inventory. Well, for the single family product, um, inventory was actually up 39% year over year. And that was going from uh, 377 active listings to over 500 this past month. So um, that's healthy for more buyers coming in the marketplace. And um, you know, summer's typically a big moving and uh, transitional time of year. So it's um, it's actually a good thing that we're seeing more inventory. For it's becoming more of a traditional market. So uh, stay tuned, I've got an infographic that's gonna pop up here in a second, and then we'll jump into the that uh, record condo price I was telling you about. All right, I'm back, and we're here to talk about that record condo price here on Oahu, uh, which was up 16.1% from June of 21, and now the new uh, barometer or record on Oahu is $534,000 for the median sales price. Like I said, that's a 16.1% increase up from $460,000 just a year ago. Uh, transaction volume or sales were down, uh, similar to the single family market, um, however, not as much. We're down 14.2%, whereas uh, we were talking about earlier that the, the housing single family product was down um, over 20% for sales volume. So not as bad there. Um, also, the um, days on market uh, were basically flat um, with 11 days on market last year as well as this year. Um, still very healthy for sellers. And unlike the single family um, housing market, um, Active inventory was actually down 2.6%. Remember we talked it, about it being up 39% for homes? Well, it's down 2.6% for condos. So we're following a similar trend as we talked about in the May stats where <clears throat> uh, the condo market is trying to catch up because the single family market was on fire um, all through uh, COVID and the lockdowns, people getting out of condos into houses. Now it's that affordability thing where people are priced out of houses can't afford them as much. And now the condo market is definitely gaining steam as is um, the inbound uh, traffic and buyers from domestic and overseas. So it was just announced that Hawaiian Airlines added their um, New Zealand bound uh, flight again. So we're gonna start seeing some more Kiwis come into town. We love our Kiwis uh, as that's where Harcourts was founded back in 1888. Um, but yeah, to find out a little bit more about what's going on the market or something specific to you, feel free to reach out and we love to help. Mahalo.